Hello, I'm going to talk about HPV, CIN, dyscariosis and uh, cervical cancer. And in order to do this, I have to talk initially about the cervical epithelium or the skin of the cervix cells. Um, and here is a, 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 a big magnified view of what the skin of the cervix looks like. Uh, only a few cells, the sort of thing that one might see from a biopsy laid out flat. And we have here the basement membrane. Underneath the basement membrane, we have fibroblasts, nerve cells, lymph cells, uh, um, vascular cells, immune cells. But then leading up to the surface of the um, uh, um, uh, um, epithelium, we have basal cells lying on the basement membrane. We then have intermediate cells that some people call parabasal cells. And then we have superficial cells. And then above that is the cavity of the vagina. Now, in order to get CIN, you need HPV, human papillomavirus, in the vagina. <clears throat> I've talked a bit about this process in another video uh, uh, more simplistically. But at a cellular level, you need to have a microfracture in the epithelium so that the virus can reach the basement membrane. But the virus still has to bypass all the um, uh, immune cells, such as antigen-presenting cells, of which Langerhans cells are the, are the most well-known, in order to get there. But the microfracture is probably why people um, who are having changes in the transformation zone, um, such as uh, teenagers and adolescents, are more prone to catching uh, uh, HPV. Uh, and possibly the lack of immunity may be why smokers who have less Langerhans cells and people with immune deficiency and on um, uh, corticosteroids are more likely to get HPV. So the HPV virus gets to the basement membrane where one of its capsid proteins, L1, binds to heparin sulfite proteoglycan, which is a substance present on uh, the basement membrane. So having bound to the basement membrane, we have to see the process of HPV involving the epithelium. So we get conformational change in L1 and L2, which are the two capsid proteins most spoken about, and then you get extracellular furin cleavage of L2, which helps bridge L2 to the basal cells and internalize the HPV of the DNA into the basal cells, which then gets incorporated into the nucleus. So the whole process of HPV multiplying involves um, uh, HPV being internalized and being duplicated. Uh, um, so we get replication of cells and the virus in the human host, amplification of viral DNA, um, uh, and uh, um, uh, then we get capsid synthesis towards the surface of the vagina, viral assembly, um, uh, and of course uh, uh, expulsion uh, of uh, uh, new virus particles. And that is the life cycle uh, of HPV in the human. So if one wants to understand the difference between what one sees histologically when one has a three-dimensional biopsy, such as what we've shown in this diagram, and what one sees on a smear test, um, uh, we need to have a look at this in both three dimensions and two dimensions. So here, is, so here in this diagram we have a normal uh, histological structure of the uh, cervix, as I've shown you in the previous diagrams. Again, we've had the basement membranes, basal cells, parabasal cells, and superficial cells. And if you take the top a few layers of these cells, you'll get predominantly superficial cells that look pink with small nuclei on cytology, and that's a normal smear. CIN1 is when um, you have abnormalities in the bottom third of the basal cells. And again, you, you have uh, uh, um, some superficial cells, but also some parabasal cells that generally stain bluey pink on dyscariosis. Mild, so that's mild dyscariosis, or low-grade dyscariosis. CIM2 is when you have a third to two-third thickness of abnormal cells, 
And again, if you look at this picture, you can see what the surface cells would look like um, uh, during cytology. CRM3 is when you have two-thirds to full thickness. And again, if you took the top layer of these cells, you could see they would look very different under a microscope on a smear. Moderate dyscariosis and severe dyscariosis is often called high-grade dyscariosis. Cancer is when the abnormal cells invade the basement membrane. So CIN and dyscariosis are not cancer. Thank you very much.